So here we are, the V10F. We've already done the review of the V10. This is the V10F. Let's open her up. Two boxes. Box within a box again. So same motors in these, um, but bigger battery, different firmware. So it provides a bit more, a bit more torque. Battery's got higher output of voltage. But I mean, the V10 is more than enough, to be fair. So that we're gonna see what this is actually like in real life. So in here, you get the instruction manual, a charger, and again, the cable, we will put in the right one for your country, all being well. Side leg pads in here. To stick to the machine. Wow, you can lift it with one hand. Let's go and get a unicycle stand. It is looking mighty fine. So if you're watching this video for the first time, go and have a look at the V10 video. Watch all of that, see what you think of that, make your judgments on it, see what our conclusion was, and then obviously watch this video, or watch this video and go back and see what that video is. But it is a looking beautiful, all fresh and clean, unlike the other V10 which we currently still got in test. Should we boot it up? Should we stick these on? Let's stick these side pads on. You just literally pull the back off, line them up. I'm doing it back to the front here though, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Get them on there. Brush it along as far as you can go. I think I've got that in. Soon find out if we got that wrong. Okay, it's them on. Should we hear what it sounds like? Same sound, just like the other V10. Press and hold, we'll give you a front light, pretty flipping bright. So you press and hold it, turn it on. Press and hold it, turn it off. And then you can also use the app as well. Uh, trolley handle, press in the button, pops up. Simple as that. Press it again, drops down. Foot plates, just simply fold down. Nice big foot plates again, it's exactly the same as the other V10. Perfect for a real stable ride. Nice and soft. Feels like you're on a magic carpet with our experiences of the V10. Right, so let's get, let's get this on charge and see how it performs. I'm gonna head out now on the V10F and do a range test and also test it off-road and on road, and then come back and give a verdict.
I'm at the 50% battery mark now, and as you can see on the screen, this is where we are. Woo! Onwards and upwards. miles in and we've got the red light of doom got, got a bit more way to go uh, but as usual i am out in the middle of nowhere so we see how this goes but yep 20 miles red light and the app is showing 28 percent battery so i presume that red light comes on at about 30 percent so maybe just below as it dips below it goes onto that so yep see how we get on uh, right, it's lowest point of battery. I've got a huge climb. As you expect, just to push it, because this is the way home. That's the range test done. 24 miles, basically. Now, it was 10% battery, so we might have got a little bit more out of it if I pushed it, I reckon, about a mile, mile and a half approximately. Now there's something to remember, it's a very key point. With lithium ion batteries, in cold weather, they do suffer. Now I set out at about three degrees, it's about 25 past six this morning, and it heated up to about five to seven degrees, something like that, by the time I got back. Now 24 miles, remember, is an hour and 40 minutes of riding, so that's quite a ride, all in one go. So most people won't be doing that some distance. Um, so 24, now with that, low temperature you're probably looking at about a 20 percent loss approximately 20 to 25 percent and as the temperature gets even colder as we head into winter you can look at anything up to 50 percent losses uh we've been riding before minus five and seen that sort of thing um previously so from our experience that's what you can expect so i think you might be able to push 30 miles out of this if you're a little bit lighter and i was kitted up as well so i was wearing extra clothing motorcycle uh, trousers and a thick top and etc to keep warm so yeah I have more weight than usual as well a little bit more so I think with me on it 28 miles in summer to 30 miles approximately will be about right but the worst case scenario is 24 and that was an average speed of about 15 miles an hour so that's going for it really you're talking an hour and 40 minutes an average speed of 15 that's, that's a good average speed you know it's, it's quite a speed now so that's good. In terms of the ride and the comfort, check out the V10 video. So this is more or less like a short summary because most of this has been covered in the V10. And so I'm only gonna mention things that are slightly different with the V10F. So go and watch that video if you haven't already. And exactly the same machine, apart from bigger battery, 960 watt hours in this one. So it's got, got more battery than the V10. Slight little difference I noticed with the V10F is that the tire doesn't seem as soft when riding along. So the V10, if you remember, if you've seen that review, if you haven't, go watch it again, keep saying that. Um, you will see that it's a, like a magic carpet ride. This is a little bit harsh, and I think that is because of the extra weight it carries. So that might be the reason that is. Um, it's pumped up to 40 PSI. The tread is exactly the same as the V10. So in the off-road, absolutely spot on. On-road, it's not noisy. It's a nice quiet motor, a real quiet motor. It's really, really good. Foot plates, again, same size. There's no point in going through the whole thing again. The range and the power delivery are the only things that are really different from the V10F. So if that's what you want to go for, more a bit, bit more power and more range, then that's what the V10F will bring. Everything else is pretty much exactly the same. In fact, it is exactly the same, except from the, the red versus silver on the v10 the red one on the v10f that is it it looks exactly the same um so slightly heavier but will take you further and a bit more power but you have to do 100 kilometers to start getting the maximum out of it in terms of the firmware so the motors are the same it's just the firmware delivers the power differently with the bigger capacity batteries on this so there we go i really hope that has helped you in deciding whether you go v10f or v10 or whether it's them at all and you want something more so if you're looking for the real long range one you need to look at the gotways in terms of battery capacity but obviously pay a lot more money for them as well so they give the battery capacity um and the, the in motions these ones here right down so we've got the emotion v10 the v10f you've got the v8 which is the next one down so 16 inch wheel the same slightly different tire on it 
bit more compact, and then you've got the V5, V5F. So that's a 14 inch wheel, which is sat just here currently. So that's the V5 um, that you can see there. So yeah, they do a whole range that covers pretty much everything. And this is the big daddy of them, of that range. But incredibly safe to the firmware, the way it handles the wheel, you just feel safe all the time. So as a city commuter, spot on. If you're going around people, and if you're doing the trails, you just feel like you're being looked after when you're riding it, which is, which is great. Some of the other machines on the market, you're not so sure when you ride them where they're gonna sort of kill you. Whereas this feels like it's trying to cover all angles in terms of safety and keeping you in one piece. And it looks the business as well. The other thing you can do is turn off these lights. So the flashy lights on the side, you can actually turn those off in the app, which is in the other video, I talk about that. Um, but yeah, you can turn that off and that'll give you a little bit more range, not a lot, but a little bit more. They're only five volt light units anyway. But cold weather, as we do these reviews into winter, starts to take its toll. Um, so the V10, if you go look at that, that was done in high temperatures, that won't get as much as this. So even though they pretty much match around that same sort of distance, if I took the V10 back out now and did it this morning, exactly the same environment, it would have got less than this. So yeah, keep that in mind. And the only way of telling really is what you're wearing in these videos to get some clue in the scenery in the background. But yeah, for what it did in this weather, that's pretty good going. So 24 miles, I see you might get 28 out of it. Um, but yeah, in summer, great old machine, very sturdy. If you've got any questions about it at all, then do let us know, comment below. Also go and like, and also subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell if you can, because that will notify you when we do uploads, when we go live and all these sorts of things. So if you want to join in our weekly show, please do every Wednesday. If you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified when we actually go live and it's a five minute counter so you can get time to get ready and come and watch and join in and comment. Also, you can get this from speedyfeet.co.uk if you wish to and all the other models we got in there as well, so go and check that out. That'd be brilliant. Thank you very much guys, see you on the next one.